myself to that. Please get up and walk around during the uh, discussion. You know, we want this to be informal. Don't feel like you have to be uh, stuck in your spot, even though this is a lot more crowded than we expected it to be. Please feel free to get up and go get some snacks, use the restroom, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, okay, so we'll begin with the questioning. Um, and since we are across the street from the Miro building that uh, Justin mentioned in his remarks, um, I will start with the obvious uh, first question, which is after years of discussion and work and angst, that building is finally coming down. We're going to have an entire city block that's going to be empty, a blank slate. Uh, an entire city block of opportunity for our city. So the first question that I have for our candidates is, what is your vision for that resource that will be appearing in our com uh, community uh, soon? And I will try to alternate. Um, hopefully I'll get it right. So Barry started, so this sure. time we'll start with uh, Justin. Sure. Everyone can hear me fine, or should I bring this up closer? Okay, good. Um, so as, as I, as I uh, referenced in, in my opening remarks, uh, we have an excellent opportunity to create the beginning of downtown when that building is down. Uh, my vision of downtown Manitowoc is pretty much eight blocks on Washington Street and eight blocks on 8th Street, uh, and then every street um, uh, off of that. If we start here uh, with a, a blank slate, as, as Ron mentioned, we have an excellent opportunity to showcase our community to tourists, but also to create that feel for, for downtown. So what we envision, um, and we, we put forward actually to the state as a vision, is commercial along Washington Street, continued commercial, uh, some green space uh, that, that highlights uh, the men and women who labored in Manitowoc for over a hundred years to Miro uh, with some of the bricks and, and, and others. And on the Franklin Street side, uh, uh, there are a few businesses that are interested already in purchasing some of that land, uh, some for parking over at uh, Wisconsin Aluminum Foundry and, and uh, uh, Maritime Ford. Um, but uh, we want to be able to create that feel. I think the, the main thing I want to share is I, we want to be able to create that feel that you're in downtown uh, when you hit 16th Street on Washington. And uh, I think we have an excellent opportunity to do so once Miro's done. I will say, though, that uh, while the building will be physically coming down um, by July 1st is when, when uh, the contract states, uh, it will take a, a little while thereafter to clean up the site. Um, which we, we are planning on doing. Uh, we do have some state grants available to us to clean up the site uh, underneath it. Um, there are still some unknowns. There's some tunnels under there. There's actually a river that runs uh, under the Miro building. Um, so there's a lot of different things we have to do. So I wouldn't expect to see any development on the site until more than likely uh, uh, late 2018, 2019. Well, I guess given how long it's taken us to get to where we are today, I guess I wouldn't expect to see any development on it well past 2018, 2019. I mean, we never should have had this last as long as it's lasted. It really shouldn't have taken us this long to end up where the city is stuck with a building that we never should have been stuck with. We've had eight, ten years full of terrible negotiation that have led us to a point that we're stuck with a 